just wanted to make a quick video talking about this old speaker. I got a set of old speakers from uh, the Goodwill down the street for 45 bucks. It was for these. These are the Technix SB832. And I was looking into it on the internet. A lot of these old speakers have this kind of design. Um, they're great speakers, but personally, like the way it was originally with these two drivers, they were both kind of coming through. They were in series. And one strange wire went to the crossover in between the two in series it was a strange setup um originally there's like a big fat 8 ohm driver in this thing and it was originally here i moved it down to the bottom and put the 5 ohm driver here the 5 ohm's just working basically uh there's new crossover in there this uh woofer's doing like 30 to, uh, is it, yeah, 30 to 500 hertz it is, is a 500 hertz low pass filter. Um, the original design, it seems like these were going right to the terminal, so they almost didn't have like a crossover. Um, so right now there's a low pass filter between this one, high pass filter, and a 3 ohm resistor as a 100 watt resistor to uh, quiet this thing down a little bit since it's 5 ohms. It was, uh, sometimes I think it might need a little more, but the 3 ohm sounds great. And uh, then the original mid range and tweeter are just kind of using the original crossover network too. So basically, all you did, all I did was change the low end to be separated and I, I swear they sound so much better and there's so many old speakers that have this uh, this design they don't call it mutual effect system but I know there's a lot of three-way speakers that have four drivers and I know these sound a hell of a lot better with the uh, crossover hey thanks blue forgot to mention the banana plugs on the back because why not they're actually bridged together because the way I use them I use my rear speakers plugged into my front speakers but uh, that makes things a little nicer the original hardware is still intact blue does the rubber face on that let's go for face brushing there's green wire and a red wire that's the actual positive and negative that blue wire that had to just be cut off here at the uh, crossover. I just cut it and taped it up and got rid of it. And then instead of running them in series with that white wire going between them, I ran them in parallel and cut it uh, between the two, uh, the high pass filter and the low pass filter there.